Hi, superstars. It is time for English. We are on unit three, week two, and our essential question is, what are the different sounds we hear? We are talking about sounds around us. Keep your ears open. So we use our ears to listen to the sounds around us. What sounds do these instruments make? This little boy is beating on a drum. So what sound does that make? Boom, boom, boom. And how about these maracas that this little girl has? They make a shaking sound, don't they? Let's watch a video that is going to tell us about some of the sounds around us. Sounds around us. What are the different sounds we hear? There are sounds all around us. We can play musical instruments to make sounds. Listen to the girl make music with a xylophone. A parade is full of different sounds. Listen to the sounds of music and cheering. In the city, you can hear the sound of cars and buses. Whoosh, honk, honk. Sounds are all around us. What are the sounds that you hear? Think about the different sounds you hear when you go outside or when you're driving with your parents in the car. You hear so many different sounds. Maybe when you're outside, you hear birds or you hear traffic. Maybe inside your home, you hear the TV. You might hear music. So pay attention to the sounds that you hear around you. Let's go over some words to know. These are some vocabulary words that we're going to learn. I want you to practice them. The first word is listen. 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 When you listen, you hear a sound. So when you listen, you hear a sound. I listen to hear the sounds outside. Why do you listen when the teacher reads a story? Maybe so you can learn and understand what the story is about, right? Let's go to our next word to know. It is exclaimed. Can you say that with me? Exclaimed. Exclaimed means to have spoken suddenly in surprise, anger, or excitement, exclaimed. Here's an example. You used my bike without asking me, Lisa exclaimed to her sister. Have you ever exclaimed something in excitement? Give an example. Have you ever exclaimed something All right, let's go to our next word. Let me clear this first. Our next word is volume. Volume is how loud or soft a sound is. The volume of the music was too loud. When is the volume of your class loud? Volume, can you say volume? So sometimes you turn the TV's volume loud and sometimes you turn it low. Volume. Our next word is chat. 
Say it with me. Chat. When you chat, you talk about something in a friendly way. Here's an example. I chat with my mom about my day at school. When do you chat with a neighbor? Chat. Our next word is familiar. Say it with me. Familiar. Something that you know well is familiar to you. Our classroom is very familiar to us. What other place at school is familiar to you? Familiar. All right, you should know this word. Let's read it together. And. This is the word and. Say it with me. And. Nan and I wear boots. Let's spell the word. A-N-D spells and. Can you write the word in the air? A N D. And. Very good. Practice those words. I'm going to read a story about many sounds in a town. What city sounds do you think we will read about in this text? It is called Clang, 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 beep, beep. Listen to the city. You can learn important details in a story from the text and the illustrations. The illustrations sometimes give details that are not in the author's words. You can also Create pictures in your mind to help understand what's happening in a story. Sometimes the in information and the text and the illustrations can help make these pictures in your minds. So remember that we always start at the front of a book and we turn pages until we get to the back. You'll see spaces between the words in the sentences. Look right here. Listen to the city. So in this sentence, even though they're on top of each other, but you can see that there are spaces between to and the. There's always spaces between the words. And the spaces separate words in the sentences. Let's read the author's name. This is by Robert Burley. And it's illustrated by Beppe Agiakabi. Not sure if I said that right. That is the illustrator, the person who draws the pictures. Let's turn the page. Okay. Now, clang, clang, beep, beep. Listen to the City is a fiction story. That means the events in the story are all made up. The story uses sound words to represent noises in the city. Let's turn the page. Well, I can see the boy sleeping. I also see that it's getting light outside. I think he'll wake up soon and get out of bed. So there were no words on this page, but if you look at the illustrations, it gives you clues, right? Let's turn the page. 
Ting-a-ling-a-ling, 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 ting-a-ling-a-ling. Right. Alarm clock ringing, eardrums stinging. All right, look at the spaces between the words. Now, can you read the words in this sentence? Alarm clock ringing, eardrums stinging. Let's turn the page. Groo, clunk, thunk, thunk. Big truck rocking, trash cans knocking. I can picture in my mind what the boy is seeing and hearing when the workers grab the trash cans and dump the trash into the truck. So in my mind, I can see trash cans flipping over and rolling on the ground after the workers put them down. And I can hear the truck groo, clunk, thunk, thunk. Rumble, rattle, snore, roar. Subway roaring, riders snoring. I can imagine riding the train and the rumbling and the shaking as the train travels across the bridge. It's really exciting. This helps me understand how the boy might be feeling. Flutter, flutter. Coo, coo, coo. Pigeons strutting. Kids shortcutting. What do you think the words flutter, flutter means below the bird? Maybe they represent the sound of the bird's wings, right? Strutting. Look over here to this word. What do you think strutting means? Pigeons strutting. That means walking in a stiff, proud way. Strutting. Clang, 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 clang. Bridge arms lifting, barges drifting. Well, I read that the bridge arms are lifting. The details in the picture help me understand why I see the two parts of the bridge that are going up to let the tall boats pass. Barges right here. This word barges means large boats with flat bottoms. Those are called barges. Scritch, scratch, hop. Scritch, scratch, hop. Sidewalk chalking. Jump rope talking. Ring, ring, ring. Ring, ring, ring. Ring, ring, ring. Ring, ring. Big crowd yelling. <clears throat> <clears throat> Ice cream selling. What can you picture in your mind to help you understand how the boy might feel standing in the crowd? I can picture lots of people around me making it hard to see very far. Ooh, ooh. Oh, ee. Oh, traffic streaming, sirens screaming. The boy and his mother are in traffic. 
and the ambulance is making a loud noise. On the cover, the cars were all making the beep beep noises too. I wonder if the cars will make this noise in the story. Let's find out. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Drivers shouting in and outing. They did make that beep sound, didn't they? Kapow! Wrecking ball smashing. High wall crashing. Sometimes old buildings are knocked down, but only when they're empty. The workers in the picture, they're marking to make sure everyone stays safe. So a wrecking ball is a big ball that a machine swings to knock down old buildings. Blink, 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 blink. Red sun sinking, street lights blinking. So I read that the sun is sinking. This means the sun is setting and it's the end of the day. So that must be why the family in the picture is getting ready to eat dinner. Tick, tick, moonlight beaming, children dreaming. How is this picture like the picture at the beginning of the story? The boy's in his bed in both pictures. How is this picture different? Well, it's a little darker, and the beam is from the moonlight not the sunlight. So when it says moonlight beaming, beaming means sending out rays of light. Darkness creeping, city sleeping. Look at the sounds. Shh. Do you see them? Shh. Can you picture in your mind the people in the city who are making the shh sound? Where are they? And why do you think they're saying shh? I think they want to sleep. Looks like they're in their apartments and it's noisy outside. So they're saying shh so they can try to go to bed. All right, what time of the day is it now? How can you tell? It is nighttime and it's dark outside and there's a full moon. All right, we're going to read another story and it is Sounds Are Everywhere. So let's look before we start reading, let's look over here on page 35. This right here is called a caption. Can you say caption? Captions give more information about the photographs. This caption tells more about the vibrations. So it says, vibrations travel in sound waves to our ears. All right, so let's look out for those captions, okay? 
So what musical instrument do you see on page 34? What do you see in this picture here? There's violins. Do you see everyone has a different instrument? They look like flutes, could be saxophones, clarinets, guitars. There's a cello. What do you think the lines are showing over here? What are these lines? Those are sound vibrations. It's showing sound waves or vibrations. And that's the sounds from the musical instruments. So let's listen to the story. Sounds are everywhere. Where do sounds come from? Musicians play instruments. The instruments move or vibrate. We hear the sounds of music. When a stick hits the triangle, the triangle vibrates. Then the sound moves through the air. We hear a ringing sound. Caption. Vibrations travel in sound waves to our ears. So what word on page 34, let me get my drawing, on page 34 over here, what word helps you figure out what vibrate means? Well, it says the instruments move or vibrate. So move, right? Vibrate means to move. All right, let's turn our page. Hands hit the drum. The sounds go out. Boom, bang, boom. Caption. Hands beat on the drums and make the drums vibrate. All right, so again, the, the drums are vibrating. And as we learned on the other page, that means it moves to make sounds, right? When you blow air into a trumpet, the sounds come out. Ra, da, do. Caption. Air makes the trumpet vibrate. So the girl is blowing into the trumpet. You use a bow to play the violin. The sounds come out. Some notes are high and some notes are low. Caption. The bow rubs against the strings to make them vibrate. The sounds blend together. We can clap along. Some claps are loud. Some claps are soft. It's fun to make sounds. Caption. Volume is how loud a sound is. So let's look here on page 39. How are the people in the photograph making sounds? Well, some are hitting the tambourines and some are clapping their hands. All right, good job, superstars. Let's open our close reading companion to page 29. So we're on page 29. Let's read together. Before we read, I want you to write your first and last name and put the date on top of the page. All right, let's read. Clang, clang, beep, beep. Listen to the city. Why are some sound words big 
and some small. Draw a big or a small sound. So over here, you are going to draw a big or a small sound. You can go back and look at the pictures in the story of clang, clang, beep, beep, listen to the city. So you should draw something that either has a big sound or a small sound. You can draw some object making a sound also. So you can go back and look at the story and get some ideas. And then you are going to write down here, this picture shows. So you're going to tell us what your picture shows. It's either going to show a big sound or a small sound. Okay, so go back to the story or if you remember, you can just draw your picture. All right, let's look over here at page 30. Now remember to put your name first and last and the date on this picture also. So it says, how do the words and pictures show sounds at this time of day? So draw clues. All right, well, some of the clues to tell what time of day it is would be like a family having dinner, right? Or maybe the sun is setting, and that gives us a clue to what time of the day it is. So the pictures and the words show if it's evening or bedtime, what do the pictures and words show? What would they show if it was evening time? It probably would show that it is quiet because everyone's going to sleep in the evening. So draw a picture. So you can draw something that's going to tell us what time of the day it is. And again, you can go back and get some clues from the story. All right, let's look at page 31. Don't forget your first and last name and the date. Now we read the story, sounds are everywhere. So find clues. What sounds do you hear? Circle the instruments that make the sounds. So circle the instruments that are making the sounds. The drums are making sounds, right? How about the trumpet? The trumpet is making sounds too. Boom, bang, boom are sounds made by what instrument? A drum. So you would write a drum. Does that look like an R? It's a sloppy R. Ra, da, do are sounds made by a trumpet. Let me see how well I can write this. A trumpet. All right, good job, superstars. Until next time, have a wonderful day.